talk about it. Let's talk about it, okay? <laughs> hi guys i am back again my name is chine Lueke. i am a youtuber based in abuja i am also a fashion designer i usually don't introduce myself as a fashion designer in this on this channel and i have to start doing that because i have to start selling my market marketing myself today i'm going to be telling you guys fashion mistakes you are making and you don't even know you're making them and it's making you your appearance look um, cheap because i have a problem with ch so if i'm not pronouncing it well pardon my life and we're about to enter 2023 you can't be dressing like that again babe the first one is having the wrong undergarments this one can really break or make your outfit i know that sometimes we don't know how to like buy our bra even me i, I still have that problem sometimes even up, up until now you can buy your bra especially as a cover girl where you have big boobs with tiny waist it's always hard for you to find the perfect bra that fits you well so sometimes you might get the one that does and um, holds you well at the waist side but then the cup is small so your boobs are spilling out here and once your boobs are spilling out here or even under here or even on top here it's going to reflect on your clothes and even if that cloth fits a one and you're wearing the most expensive outfit you're going to look tacky you're gonna make that cloth look cheap and someone that is wearing a thrifted outfit of one pound and wearing the right undergarments which includes your spanks your pants they're gonna look flawless and seamless and boss as like they like they're gonna look better than you when you are wearing your spanks let it not be too tight that you can see that line on your knees or even on your stomach region is too tight that because you have a lot of stomach is gonna it has divided your stomach so you can see like skin rolling over you don't want that you want it to be smooth and everything even your pants let your panty line don't be showing so if you know you are going to wear something that is transparent you better make you know wear pants wear just just wear your tights some people they don't have panty line they have texture problem they might be wearing a lace pants on a um, tight that is very or a fabric that is very light so you can see the texture of the lace this one i see it a lot i see it a lot when you wear your pants your trousers especially your wide leg trousers it does not hit the ground it has that awkward place where it stops like just like maybe two inches above your your feet and it's giving this awkward vibe like is it that your material was not enough or the clothes is not your size so you bought a one size smaller because you don't want to admit to yourself that you have added weight don't we don't want that this 2023 like you don't like you don't, you don't want that you want to be looking classy seamless like if it's too short for you look at the hem make sure the pants has a hem take it to your tailor to a tailor around you let them um, take out that hem and, and elongate the trouser you want your trouser to hit the ground let's not be long that is dra dragging the floor sweeping everywhere no but you want your trouser to hit the ground it's gonna give you this it might be wearing like a very basic pants that is just thrifted from anywhere but because when it hits the ground especially if you're wearing your heels and your trouser is still hitting the ground guy it gives you this smooth effortless look like ah it's clean like it's so clean like that um awkward length of length of trousers it shippings an outfit the next one is an outfit that is too tight i used to fall copy of this one like it was snatched everywhere you don't need all that as long as your waist as a coffee girl your waist is cinched and everything like is looking like yeah it's not too tight it's not too loose it gives off this classy easy effortless vibe you don't need your clothes to be too tight because it's giving tacky it's giving hmm, it's not it's not gonna give the fashion statement like a, the fashionable boss babe that you want it to give and you know that in 2023 20, you need to be looking your best the next thing also is too much revealing outfits now your baby girl chinil i'm someone that i love my outfits like i love to be sexy the secret to looking very sexy and um well put together is this when you know you are going to show your upper body you know like okay you want to show cleavage make sure that what you are wearing down is a long something like it's covering you it's not short if you are showing your back okay you can even start to show your cleavage and also do a slit but if you're doing that slit like that cloth like is the slit is in a tasteful manner the cloth is like it's not too tight so it's loose as even though there's a slit it still stands firm do you understand you can well, if you're showing your back you can start to show your back then you wear something that is long 
or and then no show your cleav your cleavage. You can decide to show off your clavicles so you can wear an alternate and then to cut this way. You can decide to be like, oh, today I want to show my legs. You cover all the upper parts and then show out your leg. That is a very elegant way to look sexy. But wearing too much revealing things, the clothes is short. It has slit on top of it. When you are walking, you are dragging it. Then cleavage is showing. It is still spaghetti hand. And then the back is low cut. No, 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 no. That is not what you want to do, 23. I'm telling you, sister. If you want to look classy, even the way like... Mm, don't do that, please. Another fashion mistake you are making that is making you look cheap is not tailoring your clothes. You can wear the most expensive clothes and if your clothes is not tailored to your body, to, to your body shape, it's not going to look exactly the way you, are going, you want to look. You're going to be looking maybe like four, maximum 4.5. You're not going to even look which five. Tailor your clothes. I know this is a problem that curvy ladies we, we have. That is also why we love to wear stretchy clothes. So if you buy an outfit and the hip is entering, the waist is big, take it to a tailor and just look for a local tailor in your vicinity and make the person your friend. You need to have a seamstress like a tailor if you don't know how to like tailor clothes. You have to have that person as for life. So whenever you buy an outfit and something is wrong, you just take it to the tailor, the person will adjust it for you. Because at the time you tailor your outfit, it takes your outfit instantly, even your whole look, your vibe, your class. From four to ten instantly by the time you buy that pant and it's giving you that awkward nonsense lens and then you take it to your tailor and then they bring it down so now it hits the ground when you wear your clothes it takes you straight from 2.5 to 10 nobody can tell you no, nobody can talk to you anyhow when they're dressing you they're dressing you with respect you understand where we are now are, are you seeing my vision <laughs> yes so the next one is on iron clothes and i'm telling you even till tomorrow you see this particular point now till tomorrow i'll fall prey so please if you see me outside it on iron clothes in this abuja i don't really care you don't drag me even on the internet as i'm telling you guys this top i'm wearing the, the style of this top here eh, is a lot of gathers that ironing it is very hard like look at it ironing this top is so hard but i try to rest iron it i will see that you still have some form of rumple on it but but then it's way better but guys you can have the most expensive clothes the most expensive outfit and if it's on iron especially if you're wearing silk don't do that to yourself <laughs> if you're wearing silk don't you dare do that to yourself by your outfit you look so cheap. You look so tacky. You look so weary. You can even see like some of these celebrities when they are going for like red carpet, they literally cannot sit down on their clothes. They have to lie down this one. They will take them to their venue, then they will not stand up because the effects or the beauty of iron clothes can never be under overemphasized or underemphasized, which is the English. I think overemphasized. Yeah, iron your clothes. Another thing that will make you to look cheap or fashion mistake you're making is wearing like mixing the wrong um, print and pattern i know right now we are in the season we have left like the new the minimalistic vibe and we're not in the, in the loud colors the bold prints like do you out there but if you know you don't know how to combine prints very well and also even brings me to if you know you don't know how to color block like wear colors very well to complement each other please don't be doing that don't do it also i have a video that is coming up showing you guys how to color block so mixing the wrong prints please don't do it if you want to then if you know that you're not um so strong in wearing prints and you want me to show you guys like style it and show you guys make a video on how to wear prints like combine prints just let me know in the comment section i'm going to do that for you the next fashion mistake you're making that's making you look overly cheap is wearing like over over baggy clothes now don't get me wrong i know that baggy clothes there is a style of like there is this style that it's baggy it has to be loose that's the vibe that the clothes is but if you, do you see all those overly bad overly 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 loose ones you just look like you have you don't have house you don't have manners like you don't have rooms like where are you coming from like who allowed you to come out of the house like this like i don't get it i get the fact that the, the baggy vibe like when you do it it gives this cool vibe like you know that some people can even do the loose vibe and make it edgy or even make it sexy like do you know like it just it's just cool but the overly loose thing it makes you look cheap it makes you look tacky it's a really a fashion mistake don't do it i do feel like if you are going to go that do the loose vibes if it crosses like that um the next two like if you are let me say a size eight 
and then if if stop at 14 max 16 but first of all 14 especially if you're a curvy girl i keep saying that or a plus size girl or a fat girl the overly overly baggy thingy without, without having any, any definition like show you waist like silhouette it, it, it's not giving please no adjust your ways and that fashion mistake you're making that is making you to look shape is shopping um trendy outfits and not shopping outfits that is suitable for your style and your body shape a lot of people follow people on instagram or social media you see your faves buying things or you come on social media you see the style of clothes is what is running and then you go and buy it now nah. when, when you're wearing an outfit that you're not comfortable like you're not confident in it shows like people can tell like it's, it just shows i'm telling you this thing it shows it really shows so what i'm going to advise you is like if we see your body shape actively find ladies on social media that has your type of body shape and look at the things they wear and be like oh do i like this one do i not like this one and then buy things along that axis then you also ask yourself are you a colorful person or are you a person that you love and um, the minimalistic the toned vibe the nude vibes so you know that those are the colors you are going to gravitate towards you're not going to go and buy turquoise and um, you're going to go and buy lemon or turquoise blue because you saw an influencer uh, uh, your favorite wearing it but you're not a color person you prefer to be in your beige your black your browns your nudes your blues your grays you understand even if you're buying some, something that is trendy and as long as it's within the trend is within your style purchase it but if it's not within your style please don't buy it because you're going to buy that and you're going to wear it tell me some of the fashion mistakes you think that i didn't mention in the comment section okay if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and leave a comment literally thumbs up this video like this video for me it helps us as a youtuber it tells youtube that this babe people are liking this video so let me push it out some more to other people so that they can watch it do you understand and that is how you get exposure and you grow so please like this video leave a comment i mean tell me how pretty i'm looking like this is my first time of wearing red lipstick on this channel this is the first time guy talk about it let's talk about it let's talk about it okay <laughs>